Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. This video is for my friends who teach U.S. history or anyone who's interested in learning a little bit more about historic places in the United States. Let's go ahead and take a look here. I'm at the National Registry of Historic Places, which is provided by the National Park Service. And I'm looking through the digital asset gallery and we can search according to resource name, but let's say I'm not necessarily looking for a specific resource, but maybe a collection of resources from an area or about an area. So I'll go in and look for my home state of Maine and things that are within my county and do a search. And now we'll see here I have 95 results. And I can go in and look at any and all of these. Let's say I want to click on this one here for the Andover Public Library. If I click on that, we'll see the image, we'll see a description of it, but let's go and look at it as a PDF. When we look at it as a PDF, we'll find more information there. And likewise, if I look at this as a PDF, I'll see more images than just the one that was featured here in the results. And depending on the asset, you might find a whole bunch of images and not just one or two images for that particular location. For example, when I found the one for Paris Hill, I found not only the asset detail here, again, that had the PDF in it, but I also had this option in the PDF to look at the images and we can see where the photo credit belongs, when it was taken, and where the negative is filed. That's important to note that a lot of these images are not in the public domain. So you want to make sure before you reuse them that they're available for reuse or not. And the other way you can search is to go to this massive spreadsheet that the National Park Services furnishes. You can find it right here. And again, I'll include those links in the description of this video. But down here, we can go and we can search and sort according to state, county, city, do a search within here. Perhaps I want something about my old friend Hannibal Hamlin and anything related to him. And I know that it's going to be in Maine. So I'll find Hannibal Hamlin House here. And if I scroll over to the right hand side, I'll see a link to that artifact in the National Archives catalog. So that's a couple of ways that you can look for more information and images about places that appear on the National Registry of Historic Places in the United States. As always, for more tips and tricks like this, please check out freetechforteachers.com or subscribe to my YouTube channel.